Welcome back to Profiles in Caring as we continue our story on an eco day spa in Costa Rica. How does helping yourself help the locals? Doug Jardine shows us. Northwestern Costa Rica, most often reserved for those who come to the Central American country to sun, play, and swim, but off the main roads and in the middle of Mother Nature's impressive biological and ecological fingerprint, you will find Bryn de Amor, the branch of love. Bryn, French for branch, de is Italian, and Amor for love is Spanish. The bringing together of languages, just as Carlos Jimenez would like the world to be as one, with nature. I've been an environmentalist, uh, ecologist for many, many years. Uh, I never thought that a place like this would offer so much when I first came here. And then slowly continuing to come here, I, I started, it was like a discovering its beauty. And obviously the waterfall and what this place signifies uh, is very important. There is a, as you may know, waterfalls emit negative eons and we're operating with positive eons so the negative eons neutralize our whatever how we're feeling so it gives you a feeling of relax so it became the idea of a health spa at first and now it's evolved with the help of other people into a self-sufficient educational oneness center Born in Costa Rica, Carlos left when a political appointment took his family to Washington, D.C. for 22 years. But then in 1974, he returned and has worked tirelessly in efforts to keep Costa Rica pristine, preserving both wet and dry rainforests. And now, offering Bryn de Amor as an ecological retreat and nonprofit getaway for those who share this yearning to become one with nature. One planet, one environment, one people. It is, uh, we're in this world together. There's no separate issues, uh, political boundaries that should keep us apart. And we have to strive for uh, achieving peace with nature and that man can live symbiotically or under symbiosis with the natural world. What Costa Rica has to offer, what this amazing property has to offer is a model of a new dream where a, a new generation of young leaders can come and see the world through a different lens, see nature in its fullest beauty, see sustainable energy systems, organic biodynamic food systems, learn about spiritual development, learn uh, who they really are and experience peace with nature. I think it's a place where people who hold the capacity to dream big and change the world can come and experience a new dream where they, they come and this is what they've been craving for. There's a multiple amount of miniature climatic zones. You can go from tropical wetlands to volcanic regions to Paramo, which is uh, above the tree line. There are places on the ocean, tropical forest, tropical dry forest. There's a whole myriad. So what you find in Costa Rica is a variety that you would not normally find in tropical forest, such as Amazonia. But there is so much more than that here. See how these rods are drawn apart? It creates a line of tension. It really does. A natural energy hold deep in the structure and the land itself. And this whole property feeds itself electrically, both from Earth and uh, from the universal source of energy. Profiles and Caring continues in just a moment. GoodTube, a website devoted to videos on good people, good works, and good news about the nonprofit world. Grab your video camera and share the inspirational stories of your charitable group. And each month, the best nonprofit videos uploaded to GoodTube will win a grant of $1,000 and be featured on the internationally syndicated TV program, Profiles in Caring. It's free, it's easy, it's GoodTube. 